Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, it is four in the morning. There has been an 8.2 earthquake off the coast of Alaska in the Gulf of Alaska. Um, and we've been monitoring the situation for a couple months now. A year, a year really, because there's a active volcano in Alaska that's been going off. Uh, making it one of the most active volcanoes in the world over the last year. We had another major volcano alert in the Philippines yesterday where the volcano down here is about to go off, I believe. I believe over here. Looks like it's going to pop off. But this has created its official. I just found out that we have a strong earthquake prompt tsunami watch for the entire U.S. West Coast. So the entire U.S. West Coast is under the tsunami watch. Uh, the Canada is under an actual warning, a breaking, a tsunami warning issued for B.C. Coast from Juan de Fuca all the way down north of Hadiguay and North Coast due to 8.2 magnitude earthquake some 300 kilometers south of Kodiak, Alaska. Uh, the tsunami warning has been issued for Alaska, a tsunami watch for the U.S. West Coast. Uh, of course, a warning is worse than a watch, and we just need to stay on top of this um, and, and keep tracking it, because that's a pretty massive earthquake, and it seemed like it happened at a pretty shallow distance. My brain is a bit fuzzy right now, um, but I believe the shallower it is, the more damage it does or can do. The deeper it is, it of course resonates out. So, as of right now... You know, it literally just happened like 10, 15 minutes ago. So that, so it's 4 a.m. here, Texas time. And so that would give to like Vancouver about three hours, which would be seven in the morning, Texas time. If there were going to be any problems anywhere along the coast, on coast time, let's see, 2 a.m. You'd have till about 8 a.m. anywhere from four to six hours from now. So. It's a pretty serious situation. I can't ever remember there being a tsunami warning or watch for the entire west coast of Canada and the United States. So it is official. We have a tsunami warning for the United States, Washington, Oregon, California, and a warning for Canada. All the coastal areas. And I, as I made a video earlier tonight, we have a giant coronal hole in the sun it's been pouring out charged particles solar wind we had a cme coronal mass ejection so it's been pretty active and i've mentioned for the last few nights to watch for an uptick in earthquake activity and so it appears we we have it and so this is a very serious situation nothing to fear definitely stay aware be awake be prepared if you know somebody on the west coast it wouldn't hurt call and just kind of let them know if they happen to be sleeping um remember no fear just be prepared but in a situation where the government just got shut down i met tsunami.gov and for the last five minutes i've been trying to reach it and it just gives me a broken blank screen um All right, it's up, it's back. But yes, we have an official tsunami warning. I don't know how long it's in effect for. The chance of me going to sleep anytime soon are low. So I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, just stay cool. Well, I'll check on the buoys. And we'll get buoy readings. And Twitter is one of the best places for up-to-the-date, up-to-the-minute information. So yeah, the red is the warning and this color I'm colorblind is the watch so um it's not gonna be my info so let's everybody stay on top of this and um and I will keep you posted while I'll start checking out the buoy data and I should be back in about 10 15 20 minutes god bless everyone stay cool like I've been saying we have major earth changes coming our way it's time for us to pull together as one Earth family and adapt together. Because, you know, we got serious issues, okay? 
and arguing about little petty crap ain't going to work anymore. It ain't going to fly. It's time for us to grow up and start solving problems. Stay cool.